Well, and when disaster strikes, Americans are so generous, and many of us are now looking for ways that we can help the victims of Hurricane Harvey. But beware of requests on social media. Stunned by the images out of Houston, we're donating cash, clothing, water, and more. We usually do something to the Red Cross. Lisa Rooms and Debbie Breeze also plan to give to the Red Cross by texting 90999. If everybody sent $10 in, that would be a whole lot of people, more help that they would have. There's lots of social media posts um, showing the very powerful pictures, and it makes you just want to help. Other groups helping include the Salvation Army, Global Giving, and Catholic Charities. But what about the fundraising campaigns we see on social media? In this particular type of situation, scammers are probably going to more than likely turn to social media. The Better Business Bureau, Sandra Guile, says be very careful with Facebook posts that tug at your heartstrings, unexpected emails asking for donations, and tweets tagged with hashtag Harvey. They could send out a tweet. Let's face it, the hashtag Hashtag is out there everywhere for Hurricane Harvey. Consumer Reports is also issuing a heads up. It's unfortunate that during times of crisis, we're seeing scammers create fake charities to steal your donations. That's why it's really important to research before you donate. Charity watchdog sites like the Better Business Bureau Wise Giving Alliance and Charity Navigator have created lists of highly rated charities dedicated to Hurricane Harvey. Both Consumer Reports and the BBB say be cautious of crowdfunding sites like GoFundMe. If you don't know that person, Personally, with that GoFundMe account, I really wouldn't recommend donating them any kind of money to them because once that money is gone, it's gone. By the way, Michigan Attorney General Bill Schuette is warning about another potential scam. He says watch out for price gouging at gas stations. Texas is home to the nation's largest refinery, which is shut down right now because of Harvey. Schuette is encouraging people to contact his office if they have evidence of gouging so you don't waste your money. So some things to keep in mind to be smart tonight, especially when it comes to some of that giving. I'm Joanne Purton. Back to you guys.